Joining us now is uh, women's volleyball coach Rich Feller. This is uh, what the third year that you guys have, uh, are going to have sand volleyball That's as right. a competitive sport. I mean, it's yeah. really exciting. Um, you could play at Clark Kerr. Uh, you play up there, and you get going this week, not at Clark Kerr, but across the bay at Stanford. Right. Right. Just, just tell us how these first couple of years have gone with sand volleyball. <laughs> it's been uh, seat of the pants. You know, <laughs> we've we've really done. Um, as much as we can with very little resources for the first couple of years, including having the indoor coaches coach the sand team and most of the sand, most of the indoor players crossing over and playing sand. So we've been really dividing our spring, never train sand in the fall, and using most of our indoor players to, to make the, the, the squad to qualify Cal as a sponsored sand program uh, for two years. And that then qualifies for the NC2A regulations to make sand go from an emerging sport to a varsity sport which they have now done uh the spring of 2016 will be the first official sand volleyball ncaa year um this year however i i hired and i'm putting quotation marks up megan schmidt a former defensive specialist for me played here from 2007 through 2010 two final fours two regional finals pretty good player well, she went out and honed her coaching skills at Loyola Marymount, all the while earning her master's degree and her AAA beach rating. And, uh, and she wanted to be a bear. And so she came back up to Berkeley, and she has taken over the reins as an associate head coach, um, training the sand-only players all fall. That's their off-season. So she had 10 sand-only players. Now, these are all walk-ons, mind you. We have no scholarship dollars as of now. So these are 10 sand only, a couple fifth-year seniors, a bunch of freshmen that we started recruiting last year, and a bunch of sophomores uh, in that mix. And this year, three indoor players crossed over in January, and they are now playing sand. So we have a total of 12 sand players right now out on the courts. Um, and it's been going really well. They had a full off season for the first time ever. And even though they're young, they're going to be pretty spirited and pretty well trained with uh, Megan Schmidt and... Our other volunteer assistant, Nicole Walthall, who was my volunteer assistant last year, really training these young ladies to play sand game and, and the competitiveness that goes along with it. Now, you say you recruited because you mentioned their walk-on, so no scholarship money. So, I mean, how do you identify, then, players that only want to play sand volleyball as opposed to the ladies that want to play either indoors and outdoors or just indoors? They're, they're really separating themselves quite a bit now. Uh, there are a few indoor, outdoor, and I get some queries now and then. In fact, a very good young player in another state is, uh, is actually asking about playing both, and she is good enough to play both, so we're going to take a look at that and, and see if we can figure that out. But for the most part, uh, the junior-level volleyball is now divided a little bit, and there's sand clubs forming within the structures of the indoor clubs uh, if you go to Southern California, there's a full-on sand high school league going on. In fact, they're just starting now. So there's tournaments every weekend. Sand, sand volleyball high school is being played. And throughout the country, there's sand programs that are developing, whether they're in Nebraska or Chicago or wherever they are. And some of these clubs that are kind of bigger with the indoor, they're building indoor sand courts. So they're starting to train. So we have a, a freshman from Hawaii and a freshman from Georgia on wow. our team. And we're right now recruiting for 2016 and 15-16, uh, and we've got kids from all over the country writing to us. And the first words out of my mouth to the, to the mom or dad are, you know, right now we can't promise any scholarships. But, you know, UC Berkeley is a pretty good school, and playing sand volleyball in California is a, a pretty good option. So we're getting, um, we're getting to attract some really top-level sand recruits, and it's kind of fun. It's a different world. Yeah, totally different. It's a, an evolving sport, which is fun to see as well. As you mentioned, it's going to be a sanctioned NCAA sport in the spring of 2016. Let's talk about your schedule um, because you're going to be opening up this weekend eight uh, teams at Stanford, I believe it is. And then uh, you've got a home match on March the 15th, San Jose and Pacific. And then the team goes to Honolulu. Does that mean that <laughs> Megan only goes to Honolulu, or does Megan and Rich go to Honolulu? How does that work? Well, we'll talk about the schedule first, <laughs> then we'll get to that. Uh, yes, we're opening this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, an eight-team tournament. Um, 
uh, Stanford, of course, went big and built a really nice sand facility with four really nice stadium courts, and they have four courts in different parts of campus, so all the teams will be playing, and the structure is um, you divide your team into five two-person teams, and you play flights, one versus one, two versus two, three versus three, et cetera, like doubles tennis, mm -hmm. um, and two, winning two out of three is a match. So you can lose two of the sets, so to speak, and then still win the match. Doesn't matter if your ones win or your fives win, a win is a win. So we're doing that. That's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's going to be a big test for us because uh, we've got 12 players. Right now there might be a, an injury or two that, uh, that will take us to the minimum of 10, um, and we won't have an exhibition match. But um, we get done with that, and then we go to USF. Uh, their home court is Piper Park up in Marin, somewhere in Marin. Um, and, uh, and we'll go there and we'll play there for a Friday night, the 13th, and then host a tri-meet with, like you said, UOP and San Jose. We'll play at 10 and 4, and San Jose and UOP will play each other at 1 at Clark Kerr Sand Courts. And then, yes, we go to Hawaii. Um, and actually, all the coaches are going. Oh, nice. So Coach Feller, Coach Schmidt, <laughs> Coach Walthall are going, all the players. Uh, now, this is, a, this is a fun trip. We, we did a lot of fundraising for this trip already. And so this is going to be a big part of sand volleyball right now is fundraising for a lot of things, mm -hmm. mostly for our travel budget. But we got a little help from U University of Hawaii. They gave us a cash guarantee to come over. Uh, we're staying at a parent's house and a friend's of a parent's house that have a house in Oahu. Uh, we have a player from Hawaii whose parents will share the wealth a little bit and probably feed us a couple times. So... We're kind of getting taken care of. No fancy hotels. We're not staying right on Waikiki. We're going to be in houses and, you know, people sleeping on the floor, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the coaches do go, and, and our uh, manager is actually going to go as well, uh, and all the players will go. And we'll see how we do against some national competition. UH is there. USC is there. Nebraska is there. So Nebraska has a sand volleyball team. How what, about they, that? they got a good volleyball program, they period. A great volleyball yeah. program. And I'm sure when they go all in, if they go yeah. all in, it's going to be equal to none. And they had an indoor sand complex 10 or 12 years ago just for training purposes. Mm. And now they can use it for actual volleyball purposes as well. Well, hopefully you'll have the same success in Hawaii as the softball team has had this spring and the men's golf team as well. They won yeah. the tournament over there. So... Uh, Anyway, exciting times. It's really, uh, you know, fun to, to watch. I mean, yeah. well, what's not fun to watch about beach volleyball, right? Yeah, it's, and it's, it's uh, a lot of action in that sport. No question <laughs> about it. Well, Rich, we appreciate you stopping by. Always good to see you. Good luck Absolutely. with the sand volleyball. And, of course, Thank you we'll, very much. Uh, we'll talk about the indoor volleyball when we get to uh, the fall as well. Sounds Thanks, good. Rich. Yep, Thanks, appreciate Tom. it.